Welcome back guys to another Kangen Omega video. Today we're talking about Okubo. If you enjoy my Kangen Omega content, make sure to subscribe and if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord. So Okubo, also known as the King of Combat, he is the absolute champion or considered the absolute champion of the Ultimate Fight MMA promotion and he was the represented fighter for Muji TV during the Kangen Annihilation Tournament in Kangen Ashura. His current age in Omega is 34, his Kangen wins is 0 and Kangen losses is 1 where he faced defeat against Kano Gito the fifth fang in the first round of the Annihilation Tournament. I'll start off with some of his history, then I'll get into his role for Omega and some of his skills and technique. So history, when he was younger, he initially wanted to be a baseball player, or he was a baseball player, with dreams of joining the big league. Oku joined the wrestling team in his first year of middle school, where he soon distinguished himself as a wrestler in the blink of an eye. While in middle school, he placed in the top four wrestlers nationally, and then later in his senior year, he won the national championships, earning him a spot in the world championships. However, Okubo soon quit wrestling and took up boxing, which he participated in for uh, two years. Having just signed, this is where he signed, or he ended up quitting after becoming a national team member and then joined the MMA. After having signed a contract for the Ultimate Fight, the biggest MFA uh, pro promotion in the world at that time, Okubo appeared in the documentary where he dropped his statement that he would defeat the Japanese and which he actually did becoming the first Japanese heavyweight of Ultimate Fighter. So there you go, there's his pretty much history, being his name King of Combat, going from multiple pretty much fighting sports becoming top tier elite level at him then getting bored of it or moving on to become elite level at another one. Now I'll talk about Ashura so he saw in Ashura he was faced our boy uh, Kano Gito in the first round where he faced defeat but you know Okubo one of the most underrated characters in all of the Kanga series he was able to push uh, Kano Gito his absolute monster top three strongest in the series to go into his pretty much uh, new form or evolve during the fight and when he evolved that means Okubo was able to best him in the grappling aspect of the fight so you can say that Okubo prior to uh, the uh, Fang involving could have actually won the fight but he evolved to get above him and that Okubo was strong enough to push him to evolve which is unique not many people have been able to do that with the Fang having over 160 wins under his belt before facing against Okubo and that just shows how underrated he is and he was able to do some severe damage or not extreme amounts but some damage to the Fang as well which is good to note. During the rest of the pretty much Annihilation tournament he was a spectator alongside the likes of Cosmo and Wakasuki once they eliminated all around those people and Sega Bahashi as like a four man thing that just watching what's going on even though some of them are still fighting but he was there. It's also mentioned that many of Kano Gito's victims or people who were defeated would never recover from the pretty much humiliation but Okubo was able to recover straight away and then they had a pretty much conversation before the end of Ashura saying that they hope to fight again and blah blah blah. Now for King and Mega he's one of the fighters for Team King and against Pogo and he's you know the Chad wearing the clown outfit for Team Kangen. Got to respect uh, Okubo with that Chadness. My opinion, I think he's gonna win his fight against Purgatory as he got pretty much done dirty in Kangen Ashura facing the Fang in the first round. Of course, he was gonna lose against the primary antagonist of the series in the first round, but showing that showed that he had the ability to go toe on toe with the Fang. So with that, I think we're gonna get some Okubo greatness, and he's gonna win his fight in Kangen Omega against Purgatory. I can't wait for that. I predicted. That that it will be maybe one of the middle of the pack fights. So it won't be maybe in the next three fights, maybe the fourth fight after that. So stay tuned to that. That's my opinion, not confirmed whatsoever. Now into his power and ability. So Akiba is an MMA champion with a record of 26 wins out of 26, not a single opponent making it to the final round against him. With immense strength and endurance, Kita Oma could cruelly recognize that Akiba was one of the most powerful in the pretty much Annihilation uh, tournament, but as we know, defeated by the Fang in round one. Akiba's specialty is grappling, a style which started out in his wrestling and continued to hone throughout the years. So even though going from different martial arts backgrounds and like boxing, uh, UFC, everything else like that, he was able to pretty much combine them to make his grappling his primary technique with his fluid basic moves from grappling locks. Uh, blows and throws and he used no name techniques during his fight against Kano Gito so I can't wait to see some name techniques from him in Omega against Purgatory. His Ashura debut is chapter 31, Omega debut chapter 16 and anime debut was episode 7 and that's pretty much everything for our boy Okubo one of the most underrated characters in the Kanganverse can't wait to see his stomping of a Purgatory uh, fighter. If you haven't already check out my prediction video of the who's going to be fighting who and let me know what character you want me to cover next. I believe I've covered all the characters fighting against uh, Purgatory. I'll look through the list again, make sure I cover all the characters before they actually have their battle, so stay tuned for that.
for that. And that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed and peace. <music>